plus four is fire. So we definitely didn't realize what this tour included. Good morning. We were running late this morning, so that's why this is the first time we're filming. But we are on the tour bus and we're just waiting to go. started ascending up into the Atlas Mountains. It's already beautiful, but Elise and I were sleeping for most of that drive, so there's not a lot of footage, sorry. But as we get deeper into the mountains, I'm gonna try and stay awake to film. scratch they get like a nut from a tree and then they just like de-shell it and use the nut they're using like rocks and like handmade wheels out of stone it's really impressive that they sit here all day long and are able to do that shoot more than 40 movies and it's classified as a world heritage site by UNESCO since 1987. We definitely didn't realize what this tour included and we're currently in the village of At Ben Hadou which is like a traditional Berber village in the middle of the is it Sahara or right outside the Atlas Mountains somewhere in the middle of Morocco and Guess what? It's home to one of the scenes in Game of Thrones! So you know we're nerding out. If you want specifics, it's season three when Khaleesi gains power of the Unsullied Army. That epic scene, yeah, yeah, that was here. I bet I'm walking where Amelia Clark did right now. Password is fire. Water is like that. Guys, our local tour guide, who's a citizen from this village and has grown up here, lives here still. He's been an extra in all of the TV shows and movies they shot here, including Game of Thrones. He was one of the slaves in the scene. I'm freaking out. It's awesome. Amazing. It 
was built in the 11th century and they're all earthen buildings, meaning that it's only made out of wood, clay, stone, hay, bamboo. It's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site, meaning that there's no electricity and no electricity can be installed because it's protected. There's only five families left that live inside the village. We've already been driving for about five hours, but we've had like a few stops throughout the five hours. But according to our, our guide, we still have another three hours to go. So it's gonna be a long day and a long trip back. Thank you, Thank you, so, Thank you so, much. so much. See you next time. Back on the bus. This hotel, the night stay, was included in the cost of the tour itself. So everything that we've been doing, this hotel stay, tomorrow, tomorrow stay, it's all included in the tour. So that's really nice. And this is so much bigger than I was anticipating. The bedroom. So much room for activities. And then... The bathroom. In pretty good shape, too. For being in the middle of the desert, this hotel is way nicer than I thought it was gonna be. We went to a buffet dinner that was hosted by the hotel. We didn't really want to film it because it was kind of like a personal event, so we just didn't want to be those weirdos who's like filming the whole time. But we also got wine because tomorrow, we are headed into the thick of it. We're going into the desert and we're gonna camel ride and we're gonna camp overnight in the desert and sandboard and watch the sunset and the stars and I'm super excited. I think there's other stuff in store for the day but we're not quite sure what it is so you'll all find out with us. But for now, we're gonna go to bed early because we gotta get up again early and uh, have another great day.